Hey guys, what's going on? Vega here from Serpent X Special Forces. And I recently picked up two graphics cards from fixing a friend's computer. This is the Sapphire Radeon HD 6950. And down here, and of course you see the frame from the Veta competition that I have with all the others. But this is the, where is it at? Oh, you can't really see it. Let me turn on the light for you guys. There you go. So this is the GeForce GTX uh, 260. So these are some classic cards, very dusty which is why I'm going to be taking them apart today, uh, giving it some fresh thermal paste, some cryonaut, and seeing how they run. Now this card's interesting to me because you can actually mod this to be a 6970. Uh, unlock uh, a little bit of performance, not too much, uh, considering you know modern day technology, but it should be fun just to play around with it, which is what I am going to do. So I'm going to go ahead and start tearing it down, cleaning it up, and uh, not so much from a mining perspective, but I like to submit some hardware bought uh, benchmarks and get some points for this hardware because I never really owned this card. Well, now I do, but I didn't before. So let me go ahead and get started on uh, tearing it down and cleaning it up. Well guys, uh, we got the GPU tore down. Unfortunately, uh, you know, this thing is very dusty, so we need to clean those, uh, the dust off the SMDs. Thermal pads ripped, uh, but very oddly, if you look on the actual uh, heat sink assembly, the thermal pads are not doing anything? I mean, it's plastic. So it's, it's, it's not sinking the metal, it's, uh, it's plastic. I don't, I don't understand. I'm not sure. I mean, it looks like the assembly is kind of sinking to the heat sink. But I, I, I used a magnet, and that's not metallic. And you can't really use a magnet on copper anyways. But um, I'm not really sure. Because I was thinking about replacing the thermal pads. But I'm not sure if it's going to do anything. I mean, it is GDDR5, so we should be OK if we didn't. But I mean, some of them are ripped really bad. I mean, you can even see the little uh, lines of the sheet or the, the composite of the thermal pad. So it's really weird. Anyways, I'm going to clean this guy up. Uh, in order to take apart, I guess you could say, this shroud plate, there's these tabs right here. So one, uh, I believe, get this dust out of here. Very dusty. It's very important to clean your computer. Two right there. Three towards the fan and then one two three and that will remove kind of this plate if you look on the side here that allows you to get access to the blower fan uh, as well as separate the actual heat sink because if you look deep in there and I'm not sure if you can see that let me see if I can move it that whole side is is quite plugged with dust so we're gonna clean this guy up, put it back together. Uh, probably replace the thermal pads as well as the thermal paste. Obviously we're replacing the thermal paste. But uh, that's the teardown of the Sapphire uh, Radeon HD 6950, which we can of course make a 6970 with some BIOS modding. Classic card, not gonna be a top tier performer in the year 2020, does have a dual BIOS switch, which is nice. So left side is stock flip it to the right and that is unlocking some shaders i forgot how many but it does unlock a little little bit of performance a lot of dust around the smd so we're going to get that all cleaned up and get it put back together 
Of course, the blower style fans aren't my favorite, uh, but it will still get the job done, particularly for this GPU. And this is, my understanding, this is the reference board. So this is the modifiable one where we can flash the BIOS and put the 67, uh, excuse me, 6970 BIOS on this particular GPU. So let me go ahead and get it cleaned up. And I wanna thank you for watching. Like, share, subscribe, and comment below. Let me know your thoughts on this particular GPU, or if you ha have one. Uh, kind of reminds me of the Star Wars Sith Lord uh, type uh, graphics, so to speak. But it is the Sapphire Radeon HD 6950 Toxic. So take care, guys. Be safe out there. Have a wonderful day, and we'll catch you in the next one.